Here at Villagers Theatre we have um, a program called Miniature Musical Makers, fondly called as MMM. Myself and a good friend Matt DiCarlo started in 2005. He was the program director up until about three years ago. He's actually the stage manager, production stage manager on Broadway of uh, Rock of Ages. We try to focus on the younger performer because there are a lot of theater programs out there for teenagers, but there's little out there for the younger. It's four grades, three through eight. We try to put on a musical and give them a full community theater experience that they don't get in their school system or in other productions they may participate in. We have a core group of staff members. Uh, they're all relatively younger. I find that they relate better to the children than we as adults' parents do. The staff here is extremely professional. They treat the cast members like performers and teach them all aspects of theater. They have taught them not only that it's, it's okay to be yourself on stage, but it's also okay to be a little bit crazy. The kids love the staff members. They're great. They have a lot of fun with the kids, and um, the kids have a lot of fun with them. We have a director, a musical director, a choreographer, and then we have uh, high school students that assist them as their counterpart to train them for the future as well, because we want the program to continue. Corey Rubel is currently directing our program. He took over for Matt when he left. For Miniature Musical Makers, it's all about um, the path that leads us to the show. Giving our cast members, our third through eighth graders, the opportunity to experience a main stage production without um, holding anything back. Never try to dumb anything down for them. We treat them as adult actors and that gives them the opportunity to grow. No matter what part you have, everyone is very supportive of each other and that's such a great life lesson. So this is my son's ninth MMM show and you know, if you're coming back nine times, there must be a good reason, right? My daughter, uh, Lindsay, um, this is her eighth show at the Villagers Theater. It's definitely a program to look into and get your child in. To come to a place like the Villagers, which is a home to a lot of these, these kids, um, a place where they feel a sense of inclusiveness, a sense of being a part of something and a sense of not really knowing that they're learning. A lot of people, when they talk about theater, they talk about this idea that it does something more for us. The idea of living in somebody else's shoes helps you understand humanity a little bit more. And I think kids don't grasp it at first. They don't understand that there's a higher complexity to theater. And by being a good storyteller, you become a better person. Being able to tell stories through whatever medium it is that they don't realize it, you could become a better writer, you become a better um, a, a test taker, a, a better thinker, a better critical thinker, a better problem solver. Everything that you do here in theater allows you to do something else with it. We talk about being in the moment and being alive and committing. And they can do that when they're in school, when they're at home, when they're playing sports. They can commit, they can be in the moment, and hopefully that's what they can take from this, this program anywhere else that they go. It's not just about theater. It teaches them how to stand in front of an audience or stand in front of a group of people. If you can stand on a stage with 25 of your peers to an audience of 218, you'll excel at anything that you do. There's no right way to do it, and that's what they do here at The Villagers. They do it right.